everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To command virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligent Award, and Shining World Inventor Award, to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who walk amongst us. I, I, I chose to study medicine because I felt it was a profession that I could easily carry with me and that could help people. I've always told my staff that even if this is a very poor villager, we as the doctor or as the nurse, we are their servants. I chose that profession as my livelihood, but I chose it as a profession that would also make a difference in the world. Dr. Clark cares that people receive the care that they deserve. And uh, Dr. Clark will do anything within his power to be able to bring change, positive change in other people's lives. That's what he's done. So first in this country as a missionary, and then really as an entrepreneur. And he came down to a war-torn area, and he did not even choose to stay in Kampala, the capital city. He went down all the way to Chiwoko which is a, a really, really little village where he went on to, 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 to join the community and work with them. They've seen how much the people love him. Uh, he's one of them, his family. He went on ahead, of course, to come to Kampala, set up a, a very, very big uh, medical practice, a big hospital, International Hospital Kampala, uh, various clinics all the way, uh, right into even southern Sudan. Seeing the tremendous need for healthcare in Uganda after the Civil War, Dr Ian Clark, originally from Northern Ireland, established the International Medical Group in the Ugandan capital Kampala. At its centre is a major private hospital offering premier services, including for patients who cannot afford to pay. I came here when I was seriously sick. I had a very big problem. I got wounds on my leg and I was broke. When I came to International Hospital, Kampala, to Hope Ward, I explained to them my problem. They listened to me. They helped me. I just thank Dr. Ian Clark for what he has done for me. I have a very big hope that I'm going to recover. I thought, well, now, if I, if I do something in terms of a health facility that targets middle-income Ugandans, as they pay, then we'll provide a service and then we'll gradually improve that service and add more services and more facilities, and it'll be long-term and it'll be sustainable. So International Medical Group is that combination of companies and organizations where we're seeking to uh, uh, really build capacity in the, um, in the Uganda medical sector. We have an international health science university where we train not only nurses, but we train, we cl train clinical officers who are basically trained as doctors, but with a shorter training. Uh, we're training uh, medical lab technicians. We're training um, a lot of people in, in public health and in health management. The school has good facilities. It has the best education I've seen around the country and I hope that when I finish from the school I'll be able to go out and help in the community on how to take care of themselves. Um, I think that uh, Dr. Clark is one of the most amazing human beings I have met. There are so many things that we have started in this organization that you look back and you think how did we achieve that? But we think that it's really about what kind of person that Dr. Clark has been. 
the kind of passion that he brings to the job and then his love for people is just a magnet that draws people to himself. They are willing to believe in the dreams that he sets before them. He's made me what I am today in terms of inspiring me, mentoring me and uh, giving me a few tips here and there of how to do my job. Something else I know, yeah, and I, funny part is he has a sense of humor. He will make sure that people deliver and not just go through the motions of doing the work, but are you getting results at the end? He has a genuine concern for people who suffer, for people who are in pain, and I've seen his bedside manner, but not just that. You would see his heart go out. I one time found him asking for money from some rich friend of his to make sure he could pay a bill for this particular person. So every time you climb a mountain, you reach the peak and you find there's another peak beyond that. And the International Hospital, International Medical Group has been you know, relatively successful in uplifting the standards of healthcare in Uganda and providing um, a good and a sustainable medical service. Um, we still have a ways to go to to, to really reach some of the standards in terms of service provision that I would like to see. And so uh, we're still moving for that. Dr Ian Clark has also extended his love through adopting 12 Ugandan children over the 20 years he and his wife, Roberta, have lived there. When I see how he inspired his adopted daughter, Rose Nanyong, who is now in Yale, and you know, she was this little girl in Luero, who maybe didn't have much of a future at the time, but he believed in her, and that inspired her up to where she is now. I've known Dr. Clark in a very special way. He's my adopted father, and I've been in his family for nine years. That turned into me. I was really stressed at that age, because I didn't know what the future held for me, but here I am, personal assistant to the chairman and CEO of the International Medical Group, because of this special man, my best friend on this planet, Dr. Ian Clark. He has brought those children, given them a different life, and definitely uh, I give commendation as well to Mrs. Clark for what she has done, because behind every successful man, there is a woman. The clocks have made me have a different vision towards life and I am going to do something for my own community because I have worked with people who are compassionate about what is around them. The Irish are quite well known for, for being relational. You know, um, I think Irish people, um, we like to talk, as you know. <laughs> uh, we like to get to know people. The, the uh, Ugandans are, are very sociable and relational people as well. People say, are you going home? And I say, well, I'm at home. I have a Ugandan name, it's called Busuwa, and I have a clan. Now when I meet many Ugandans, I was somewhere this morning and they were calling, Mr. Busuwa is here. I am a Ugandan. In March 2011, the naturalized Ugandan citizen, Dr. Ian Clark, won a vast majority of votes to be the new mayor of Mackandaya, one of Kampala's five divisions. We've been living in this part of Kampala for about 15 years now. And during that time, uh, as, as we did do reach out programs into the slums, treat, uh, treating people with um, HIV, TB, uh, we also saw that there was tremendous need, not just medically, but socially, uh, in terms of infrastructure. For example, there, there is a slum near the hospital where there are tens of thousands of people and there are very, very few toilets. And I, um, over the years, have written a social commentary in one of the main newspapers here. He wrote a lot about potholes. And you know, Dr. Clark came to me one day and he said, I want to make a difference. I should just stop talking about potholes. I should be part, one of those, making sure those are covered, making sure that there are adequate services that reach the people, the people in, especially the informal settlements, the slums uh, of our city. People said he's a foreigner and so on, but the issue is not foreigner. No, the issue here is somebody who has shown himself to really care for other people. And so, yes, he was voted overwhelmingly as the mayor for Makindia. One of the things that's rewarding being the mayor of Makindia is 
I have responsibility for the government health centres. One of the health centres, when I took over, had been sitting around for about a year, doing very little. And just with a little bit of help uh, over the last three months, the last month they did uh, 200 deliveries of babies, and I'm sure that you know, we'll go on to doing like 500 deliveries a month. And this is people who really need the services. For his selfless dedication to his Ugandan co-citizens, Supreme Master Qinghai honoured Dr Ian Clark with the Shining World Compassion Award, along with 30,000 US dollars to humbly support his noble endeavour with her heartfelt salute and gratitude. Dr Clark, it is with much admiration and heartfelt appreciation that we present to you the Shining World Compassion Award. This award is presented in recognition of your outstanding medical achievements in Uganda, for your selfless spirit of service to humanity, and unbounded compassion in healing the wounds of so many. Arriving in Uganda as a general practitioner, you set yourself the marvelous goal of starting a hospital in Kampala and raising medical standards. With your heart as generous and free-flowing as the rivers of the Lake Victoria, your loving kindness and compassion surge to a, like a living stream into the lives of all you touch. Building on the work of the Royal Hospital you founded north of Kampala, you have now created the International Hospital Kampala. In this, you plan to provide first-class treatment both to those who can pay and to those who cannot. Oncology, plastic departments, a nursery school, and plans to establish a medical university and to expand clinical services regionally are all gifts from your mighty heart to the lovely people of Uganda. Dr. Clark, you are ever bountiful in nourishing the African people. Even your own cancer has been powerless to stop the great outpouring of blessings from your exceptionally noble heart. For your selfless magnificence, and achievements in advancing healthcare, for holding on to your dream and step by step bringing it into grand reality, for your courage and nobility of heart and mind, and for, your, for simply being who you are, we ever applaud and celebrate the compassionate deeds of Dr. Ian Clark, and we most warmly congratulate you on your well-deserved election as the first Caucasian mayor of Makindai division in Kampala, Uganda. With great honor, love, and blessings, Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. And please convey my thanks to the Supreme Master Ching Hai. <laughs> I don't think I'm deserving, but I'm very, very honored. In addition, Dr. Ian Clark also received an array of gifts, including Supreme Master Ching Hai's DVDs and books. She's prolific. Thank you. I'm also honored and privileged to inform you that uh, the award is accompanied by a check of 30,000 US dollars from the Supreme Master Ching Hai to enable you to foster your noble services to uh, Ugandan people. So, this is it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was absolutely amazed uh, and really delighted. Delighted for him that the Supreme Master has recognized him. I'm really looking forward to reading more about what the Supreme Master has been doing. I love reading and I'm just uh, delighted with all these books, and particularly interested in the, the vegan cookbook, which uh, I really will cherish. So uh, I just want to say thank you for honoring my husband. I'm very proud of him, but uh, very, very grateful that he's been recognized in this way. I would just like to say uh, a word of appreciation to Supreme Master Ching Hai uh, for this uh, beautiful award and for this uh, substantial donation. Um, I'm, I must say I was overwhelmed when I just from nowhere 
uh, was informed that uh, I had been awarded this um, Channing Light Compassion Award. And uh, uh, I think it's not every day that uh, someone comes from the other side of the world and, uh, and gives someone like me uh, an award and it's a it's a tremendous uh, affirmation to for the work that uh, myself my wife that we've been doing along with all, all our colleagues here in Uganda over the last number of years uh, so I just want to say how much we are amazed and appreciated by this it's more than a gesture uh, it's not just an award but it's actually a substantial donation so thank you so much to uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai Our admiring appreciation, Dr. Ian Clark, for your inspiring efforts for the Ugandan people and congratulations on the start of your service as mayor. Wishing you, your lovely wife and family, as well as your colleagues, the best in your noble endeavors. We look forward to the time when all people in Uganda and the world will prosper in health and peace. Kind viewers, thank you for your company today. Coming up next is Words of Wisdom after Noteworthy News on Supreme Master Television. May you be blessed with wellness and harmony. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.